okay germain 100 has uh, asked me that whether we can uh, add the earliest data into the bar chart and uh, if we add new data in that uh, is it possible that uh, bar chart will be a better yes it is possible mm, i have created a code for you it is the same as i have explained in that uh, bar chart tutorial okay i have just created the two text box okay you can add your own logic how to add the data to the array list so that uh, data which is there in that array list will be added to the bar chart so when i'll click on this add button so it just takes the input from the user product name and uh, the quantity here so you can add validation whichever kind of the validation you want to add to that and uh, i have created a method name update data so what i did is um, i have just created three variable static variable for the quantity of cell phone and laptop and tab so it is static because if you add new quantity to that variables for an example at the beginning if you have cell phone quantity 10 and if you add here 10 more then that quantity will become 20 so this way you can uh, keep a record of the product sales by their name or you can use your own logic how to add that so i have created a hash map here you can see hash map new hash map okay and in this update data i ask user to put enter the name of the product and the quantity so if the product name is a cell phone then it will add the quantity variable of the cell phone so this way I created for the laptop and the tab so now here the hash map that is named data hash map I clear the data here I clear the old data which was there in that hash map so I clear that and uh, I added new information to that map dot put this is the index and the quantity so this hash map will be used in this update chart method here this is the code same code which I have explained in the bar chart tutorial what I did is here I put the information using hash map so set used to get the keys which are there in that hash map so these cell phone and laptop and tab will be considered as a keys and uh, the value of these keys are cell phone quantity laptop quantity and tab quantity so this data hash map dot key set gives the list of the keys in this keys variable of set so iterator to loop the keys so I created a, a variable of that iterator keys dot iterator returns the iterator so we'll have to loop the iterator that is product info iterator dot has next if it has a next key then it will go into this loop so product info iterator dot next will return a key, first key in that hash map and that is a cell phone so here we will have a cell phone in this product name and to get this cell phone quantity now we have this cell phone key to get this cell phone quantity we have to use dot get method data hash map dot get and uh, put the variable name product name that is a cell phone here 
so it will return the value of a key cell phone that is a cell phone quantity so now we will have a cell phone quantity in this product quantity and this is the DCD as in my that uh, bar chart tutorial we put set value and 10 points something like that and student and uh, their marks like manually so here we are giving the name or sales and uh, product quantity in here and product name that is a cell phone so this way we are looping this complete iterator until it reaches to the end so we will have this default category data set with all these information cell phone and their value laptop and their quantity laptop quantity and the tab and their tab quantity so this way we are adding the information to the bar chart using hash map and iterator so this way and the rest of the code is the same as in that previous tutorial that's it that's what we have to do I'll run this so you will understand so now you can provide validation here or you can also uh, retrieve the information from the database and add to that uh, hash map list or array list if you want to use a list so this way you can update data so I'll enter laptop because on laptop is there in that uh, hash map key so I'll add 10 quantity so here we have laptop 10 quantity you can see here and uh, the next product was tab we'll add 5 quantity here we have 5 and uh, the next one is cell phone that is suppose 11 yeah so you can see this we can add the information and uh, after some time as you said that if you add new quantity in the statistics and sales record so here you have laptop now we sold 10 laptops as you can see now I'll add five more because I sold five more laptops it became 15 now 14 is here so that's why it raised a little bit more we'll add five more in laptop so it became 20 same way you can add tab also if you sell five more then it will become 10 so this way you can add the information that may be manually entered as I have entered or you can also retrieve the information from database and then you can also add validation here or in a background code as per your need thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe for more videos